Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise before worship. Let's give God a praise before the word of God comes. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. There's a word I've been praying about this day. So I'm going to give y'all three different, three different ones. I'm coming out of Psalms 5 in the New Living Translation. It says, oh, Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my king and my God. For I pray to no, to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Early, each morning, I bring requests to you and wait expectantly. How many of y'all are expecting something from God this morning? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I also like it in the message. The message also says, listen, God, please pay attention. Can you make sense at this rambling, my groans and cries? King God, I need your help. Every morning you hear me, and again, every morning I lay out the pieces of my life on the altar, and I wait for the fire to descend. Hallelujah. So let's stand to our feet. We just thank you for this word, oh God. Father, we come to you expecting and exceedingly, God. Father, we bring our request to you every morning and every day, God. Father, we give everything and we lay it out to altar to you, oh God. Father, we wait on you, God. Yes. We wait on you, God. Yes. Father, we lay it out to altar. Anything yes. that you're expecting from God. Just lift your hands to the Heavenly Father this morning. We wait on you, God. Yeah. Oh, exceedingly and abundantly, oh God. We wait on you, God. You are worth it all, oh God. Father, we give it all to you, God. We lay it before you. Every petition, every prayer, oh God. We lay it before you, God. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. There is none like you, God. Worth it all, God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let's worship God this morning. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, you sacrificed your life, God, so we can be free to worship now. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. You thought I was worth saving. That you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. That you cleared me up inside. You thought I was to die for. That you sacrificed your life so I could be free. So I could be So you came and changed my life. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. You clean me up inside. So you clean me up inside. You thought I was to die for. You sacrificed your life. You sacrificed your life. So I can be free. So I can be whole. So I can tell
that you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. That you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. You thought I was to die Father, we wait on you, God. This we wait on you, God. This Thank you, Jesus. Wrap me in your arms. Thank you, Jesus. Wrap me in your arms. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Wrap me in your arms. Yes, Father, it's because of you. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take Jesus, we wait. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Take me to that place, Lord. To that secret place where. I can be with you. Yes. You yes. can make me like Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay right there, wrap me in your arms. Yes, right there, right there. Wrap me in your arms. We want to be in the shelter of you, God. Wrap me in your arms. When we lay back and hear your heart be God. Wrap me in your arms. Father, we pray every morning, every day, and every morning, God. Hear our cry, God. Wrap me in your arms. We want to be close to you, God. Wrap me in your arms. Because of you, oh God, we give you praise, God. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. God is speaking. 
because of you, God. God, we just want more of you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because of you, God. Yes, Lord. Because of you, God, we want more, God. Yes. Yes.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now let's give God one more praise for him. Let's give God one more praise for him for what he has done. Let's give God a Holy Ghost some praise. saying something. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes. Yes to your will. Thank you, Lord. I will obey. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will obey. Surrender to you this morning, God. Yes, to you. If there's anything, God, we did not get right, God, we give it to you I right now. Obey. God, we say yes to your will, yes to your way. We will obey, yes. God. Father, forgive us of anything that we have not done. Yes, to you. A word that you've given us that we did not hearken unto, God. Yes, to you. Father, we hit the restart button this day, oh God. And we say yes. I will obey. We will obey, God. Father, take our worship, God. Take this praise, God. Thank you for being in the atmosphere, God. Thank you for the man of God that he's come and give the word, oh God. That our hearts are right now ready to receive a word from you, God. God, we thank you, God. We say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to your way. Father, we thank you, God. 
Thank you for everyone here, oh God. Thank you for worship. Thank you for everyone that is watching virtually, oh God. That you will go beyond these four walls, oh God. And as the word comes, God, that is able to plant a seed, God, and that it grows on fertile ground, oh God. So, Father, bless the man of God as he come. Touch him. Restore in him, oh God, this day, oh God. In Jesus' name and all the saints, say amen. 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 amen and amen. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. So God is God is an awesome God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we just thank God. We praise God for who He is. He's an awesome God. We love Him. We depend on Him. We find our strength in Him. He is the one that carries us. He is the one that keeps us. Not only does he keep us, but he preserves us. <laughs> and then he turns around and gives us strength, power, and he continues to take care of us. And he programs our future for us. I'm so grateful to all of you. I want to first stop and thank God for all the lo love that you showed on yesterday um, at the life celebration, homegrown service of Deacon Roosevelt Curry. God bless you, this church family and friends. Thank you so much for your love, for your commitment, for your sacrifice. For we felt and saw your love on yesterday. Amen. We felt your prayers, and we know that you're still standing for us. And God, for our family members who are here from out of town, and uh, my brother-in-law, Brother Ferris, and sister-in-law, Sister Deb, and my friend Kevin, God bless you for being here. And um, we just love you, love your family, and appreciate you to the highest. I... Um, I tried to get ahead of the game. I tried to, you know, I, we, I know we had a lot going on this weekend. So I called myself. I said, well, I'm going to start studying so I won't have that much to study when, uh, when the time comes, when it gets close to today. And God has a very, very sense of humor, but I understand that he knows exactly what he's doing. And so he changed the message. But I never worry. I don't have a problem. I just rely and depend on God and God. How many of you know God knows more than what we know? Yes. And so he's a great, he's a great God. And so today, God wanted me to share with you, and the title of this message is Words of Encouragement. Words of Encouragement. We all need to be encouraged. The Bible is filled with encouraging scriptures that provides enrichment and hope for your daily needs, for our daily needs. When you need help, read and believe the word. When you need hope, read and have faith in the word of God. When you need strength to persevere through life's changes, stand on the word that you know and believe. Just in case you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious, the powerful Word of God can lift your spirit and give you a refreshing and restored soul. Despair and anxiety has always been a part of life. We cannot escape it. It's going to find us. And so we have to realize that it's a part of our life, despair and and anxiety is a part of our life here on earth, but we can all find strength and guidance in the Word of God. No matter what we face, whether it's the loss of a job, whether we have relationship conflict, whether it's the death of a loved one or a severe case of depression, there is a possibility you can experience deliverance through the Word of God. Somebody don't understand 
The Word of God is just not a, another history book. It's not just a tell-all. It's just not a storybook. The Word of God is a powerful entity within itself. It is life. It is spirit. It is truth. It holds substance because the Hebrews tell us the Word of God is quick. That means alive and sharper than any two-edged sword. The Word of God will do what you need it to do when nobody else understands when nobody else can articulate or communicate to you, the Word of God does everything it need, you need for it to do. The Word of God is your great I am. Whatever you need God to be, the Word of God is that. And much, much more. The Word of God has been translated and kept alive for hundreds of centuries to speak directly to us today, kept alive, high, infallible, inerrant, kept alive, preserved. Now you say, well, Pastor, I mean, how you know that? Well, look, look at history. Uh, is man, did man not preserve history? Is he still not preserving history? So why do you think the Bible can't be preserved either? The same God that gave man the ability to preserve history is the same God that knows how to get man to preserve his word so that we can hear it and live by it and have strength, regain, or should I say, obtain strength from it. The best way to fight discouragement is by meditating on the word of encouragement. The best way to fight discouragement is by meditating on words of encouragement. Find some encouraging words to meditate on. Read your Bible. It's full of encouraging words that you can meditate on. A lot of things that you read that's not necessarily the Bible itself. A lot of those principles and wordings and meanings came from the Bible. And so as we look at Scripture, I will not keep you long today. John chapter 16, verse 33 in the Amplified Bible says, I have told you these things. Jesus is talking. He says, so that in me... You may have perfect peace and confidence. Jesus, I'm telling you this so in me, in Christ Jesus, what can you have? You can have perfect peace, not some peace, but perfect peace. And he says you can have confidence. You can rest assured. You can bank on it. He says, in the world, you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration. So that's what comes from the world. Understand, this, not, this does not come from Christ, but it comes from the world. What comes from the world? Uh, uh, tribulation, trials, distress, and frustration. And We must understand, he says, but be of good cheer. He said, I got some good news for you. I understand what comes from the world. He says, but be of good cheer. He says, take courage, have confidence, be confident, certain, have certain, be, be certain and, in, and undaunted. That means fearless and undisturbed. You don't have to worry, baby. Don't worry about tribulations and distress and frustration. Don't worry about that. He says, you're going to have this, but be of good cheer, for I have over." come the world. He says, I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Oh. So what in the world am I worried about? See, our hope is in Christ Jesus. Our hope is in the one who saved us. Our hope is in his word. Our hope is in what he says that we have. And so now I have to take away, uh, I have I have, I have taken away its ability. Jesus said, I have taken the world's ability. I have taken its ability. I have taken away its ability to hurt you and overpower you. So guess what we need to do? Rest in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let the God who created everything worry for us. But he doesn't worry. He doesn't have the innate nature to worry. 
What he does is he gives us peace, perfect peace. You heard the word, I will keep him in perfect peace. But there's a catch to it. You got to keep your mind state. You got to you got to meditate on the word. I understand what's going on in my life, but what does God say about it? What does his word say about it? Hallelujah. Well, what have the saints of old done about it? What has been their experience? And so as we see in Psalms 27, verse 1 through 2, it says, The Lord is my light. I don't care how dark it gets. The Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear or dread? Since God is my light, since the Lord is my light and salvation, then what, have I, what do I fear? What do I dread? The Lord is the refuge and stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The scripture goes on to say, when the wicked, even my enemies, my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fail. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just you and 10 people coming against you. And just when they were about to consume you, in the blink of an eye, they stumble and passed out. That's the kind of God we serve. The things that we can't see in the spirit realm. The things that the enemy is trying to send against us. Because the Bible says no weapon, of form, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So the things that the enemy is trying to send against you that you cannot see and don't even know about, I came to tell you, you don't have to worry. Because when they get close enough, they will stumble and fall. I'm going to leave you with this. Psalms 18. Verse 32 through 33. David says, the writer of Psalms said, The God who girds me with strength and make my way perfect. That God. What God are we talking about? We're talking about the God that girds me with strength. So this God is the one that gives me strength. This God is the one who makes my way perfect. This God is the one in verse 33 says, he makes my feet like hinds feet. Woo. Well, what is he talking about? He makes my feet like hinds feet. He, he, he gives me the ability to stand firm or make progress on the dangerous heights of testing and trouble. He sets me securely up on my high place. We look at this scripture, we see that the writer makes a comparison. He says, the Lord sets my feet like hind feet. So we have to talk about and get some understanding as what the writer is referring to. A hind is a female, female red deer. This kind of deer is... Able to move easy and rapidly. And, of course, he, he, he lives among the mountains and the rocks. So this, this deer is able to move easily and rapidly across the rocks and uneven terrain of the mountains and mountainous landscape. It will leap from rocks without losing footing, suggesting that those with hind feet, hind feet are able to overcome things easily and eloquently. Look at there. Easily or gracefully in a classy manner. So he has made our feet like hind feet. That means that it doesn't matter what kind of mountain. Problem, issue, circumstance, situation how terrible it is. He's made our feet like hind feet. We walk in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We walk in and on things that other people sink in because he has made our feet. See, that's why you got to read the word. You got to believe it, man. 
I, I understand other people are falling and failing and being cast down, but he has made, if you can believe this, your feet like hinds feet. And I don't care how rough the mountain, how slippery the mountain, if it's raining, slowing, snowing, sleet, or even if it's an earthquake, hallelujah. Those things represent the, uh, different trials and tribulations and problems and issues in our lives. It does not matter the issue. Remember that you have hinds feet and you can survive on any terrain. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to hold your head up. I want you to understand that when things happen in our lives, we don't run from God. We don't run from the fellowship. We don't run from our friends. We don't run from our, from our families. We don't hide ourselves in a corner and we don't go into depression. But we seek the word of God, which is truth and life. And we seek those things that are positive. And we talk about those things that's going to help us grow. And even our loved ones, we talk about the things that were good, that they did, that we learned from them, that's going to propel us to stand and to continue to move forward. Look to help somebody else in life that's hurting like you hurting. Oh, somebody didn't get that. Find somebody that's hurting like, you hurt, uh, hurting like you're hurting. Find somebody that's dealing with some issues like you're dealing with and talk to them and sow into their life and be there for them and watch God raise you up and give you peace and give you strength because he is. The Lord is the light. He's my salvation. Hallelujah. They that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. When you can't stand, stand anyway. When you don't know what to do, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He will always give you hope. He'll give you peace. He'll give you rest. He'll give you strength. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your love and kindness. For your love and kindness is better than life. Thank you, Lord God, for seeing about us in all that we do. God, I thank you, Lord God, that as we worship you and believe your word, and sing praises unto you. Thank you, Lord God, that you are real to us and in us. And that you have already established our going and our coming. You already know our beginning and our ending. That's why we put our hope and our trust in you, because you are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. You are Creator God. You was always here and always will be. And so our hope and our trust and our confidence is in you at all times and all ways. God, we pray, Lord God, that you would allow us to receive healing from you in every area of our lives. Lord God, our spirit man is strong, but our soul man is aching right now. Our spirit man is strong, but we need healing in our thought life, healing in our emotions, healing to act and to believe and walk according to faith. God, we just glorify you. We thank you that you have lifted us up and sustained us in these times. Lord, we never know tomorrow. But we know you hold tomorrow and control tomorrow. So, Lord God, we stand in you and allow you 
we want you to lead and guide us in all that we do. Father, continue to bless the Curry family. Bless this church family, but especially bless the Curry family. Bless those and protect those that are traveling today, that will be traveling tomorrow, the next day, and even in days and weeks to come. We thank you for securing the airways and the roadways. Thank you, Lord God, for touching their bodies that they may continue to do well and be well as they move from town to town, city to city, state to state. And God, we just glorify you for holding us and keeping us. Thank you for the fellowship. Thank you, Lord God, for the encouragement of the saints, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for the encouragement from our friends. Thank you for all the calls from out of town, out of state. Thank you, Lord God. And so now, Lord God, as we leave this fellowship as we leave this mountain, as we leave the place of your Shekinah glory, may your anointing continue to rest, rule, and abide with us every day. That all that we say and do be pleasing to your sight, that you may be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen.